Hello, everybody. It is me, Bone Doll. And I, I know I usually don't do the um, B logs, yes, that much. But <laughs> I, I've been working on the charity stream event uh, hockey match this week. And uh, <laughs> I've been doing some research on how to make the audience sound, for example. Because in hockey matches, you do need to have the audience, the, the great ambient on the background, people going, go, 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 and such. And <laughs> I've been exploring with the, sound and take a listen to this. <laughs> I've been playing with this thing, yes, and it is so creepy, I mean, Several balloons, yay! Let's go! <laughs> let me show you how I've done it. <laughs> Alright, so let me show you how I did it. <laughs> this is a reminder for myself too. Uh, so basically I started with re recording this actual sound here. Uh, let's just for the two, this was the original. Again. Then, then I just um, copied uh, this track to the other track uh, track here. So basically, this uh, this is a duplicate one of this, and then I uh, made it so that it actually uh, originally loops somehow. So basically, this is an eight and eight piece here, and I combined them. Pan them to the left and to the right. Actually, I don't know if this actually does anything. It's basically there in the center now. But yeah, just to make it so that there is a continuous uh, sound. Yeah, and then I render this. Added some effects to it first, naturally. Some uh, equal eq uh, equalizer. Yes, because uh, without the equalizer, it sounds like this. Yeah, and with the equalizer, it is. so it cuts a bit of the uh, lower band here, uh, so that there is not that much bass in it. Because uh, in large structures like uh, stadiums, the bass does not travel so long, yeah, and uh, usually the high voice noises and voices go a bit f further. And when you are on the audience. Uh, shouting on the top row of the seats, uh, the bass sound basically disappears or should disappear. I think it is how the waves go because uh, the deeper waves are not that strong or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this uh, it should sound like this. <laughs> so yeah. let's continue. So uh, after that, I added some uh, pre-generated reverb cue. Yes, let's see. Uh, a normalized sound, so that uh, basically it is a more of a um, strict line of wave instead of being this. It is this. Yes! <laughs> Am I explaining this too hard to you? <laughs> and then uh, after I added, added the uh, reverb generator and normalized to it, I just went and added a real sample of magic 5000. You know. A really great name for us, yes. <laughs> and um, <coughs> it has been going on for a long time. And then uh, added to um, uh, yeah, 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 two dot mp3 sound wave to it. And I started with um, obey note offs and loop so that I it actually loops the area that I selected here. I can also do this to it. So this is basically the area that it loops now. Am I making myself very clear here? So, yeah. After that, um, obey note ops. So it stops when I release the key. If you don't have this, it just does. And continues, I think. Yeah, so now it con continues all the time, so let's stop it. Um, one of the more most important things here is that uh, I had to adjust the release. For example, if you don't touch the release, it will do it like this. Yeah. 
it will instant instantaneously cut when I release the key. So basically, I just put it to 2000. <laughs> and now when I release the key like this, we still have it echoing on the background. So yeah, I needed to do that. And I did some other stuff that I have obviously forgotten already. <laughs> like uh, I meddled with the attack uh, a little bit. I need to do that a little bit more. But yeah, <laughs> that is what I have been doing. So basically... <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs>